Hi, Namaste. This is Ruby, your master teacher of chemistry at Vedantu, and you know I know how much you all enjoyed our last DIY five chemical experiment that can be done at home. And I read the comments that most of you have tried it, and uh, you know even got the amazing results. So I thought, why don't I teach you some more experiments that can be done at home with very basic ingredients which is available. Mm. So shall we start? So the first experiment name is dancing chemist. Mm. So there are person who loves chemistry and they will be dancing for you. How? Let's see. For this experiment, what you need is mm, scissors and tissue paper or what kind of paper you have, and the balloons and some markers, pens. Okay. So I have cut them into these whatever you know you can do whatever kind of creatures you want. Maybe go with dinosaurs or whatever. You know, so they are cool. So I have, I have made three here, and you need something so that you know they don't fly away. Okay, take the balloon and you blow it. Of course, I have one ready with me here. So what you have to do is you just have to rub it. You know, you can use your head or your friend's head if it's available. So I'm gonna use mine. I don't know how am I looking right now, maybe very stupid, but yeah. And you can see me, they are dancing. Wanna try again? Oh, love is not coming up. <laughs> I guess she doesn't want to. And if you are wondering why this happened, this is because of the static electricity. So what happens is when you are rubbing the balloon against your hair, the electrons will be transferred onto the surface of the balloon. So this will induce the dipole. So there will be repulsion or attraction between the electrons and the charged particles which is present in the tissue. And that is the reason you can see the chemists are dancing. So you can arrange your bent wire, right? Yeah, you can. But bending water, mm, never heard of. But using the same chemistry or the science behind it, this is what we use for the dancing chemist, we can also bend water. Want to see how? Come. Balloon can bend the water. Do try it at home and let me know whether it worked out for you or not. Make sure your hair is dry and rub it properly. Can you all see hydrogen gas being liberated here? See, this is cathode where the reduction of hydrogen ion is taking place and hydrogen gas is being liberated. So here, this part you can actually see oxygen also, but I don't think you will be able to. But here the hydrogen gas, you know, this is because there is decomposition reaction taking place. This is electrolysis of water, where water is being split or decomposed into hydrogen and oxygen gas. So if you are wondering what is there inside water, see if you all know water does not conduct electricity. So I have added sodium chloride, that is the common salt, so which will? dissociate into Na plus Cl minus Ion. So gas you can see here is hydrogen gas. This is because of the decomposition of water or electrolysis of water to give you hydrogen and oxygen gas. See we, you might have studied it right in the like I, I might have only told you electrolysis de decomposition of water many times but here you can actually see how exactly it is happening. And one more thing please be careful when you are doing this experiment make sure there is an adult around you who will be helping you with this experiment because it's a battery so let's not take any risk but make sure you try this experiment at home so that you can see the electrolysis of the water so how was it did you like it you're gonna try at home right do try and let me know so how was it did you get the same result as I did? Do let me know in the comment section. I'll be waiting for your responses. And also you can tell me, you know, how was this video and whether you want me to come up with more experiments. If your answer is yes, then let me know in the comment section. And I'll be back with more experiments.
experiments which are really fun so do not forget to share this video with your friends also during this lockdown let them also have fun with chemistry okay then till now it was surabhi your master teacher of chemistry at vedantu i'll be back till then keep loving chemistry elementary chemistry by vedantu and your master teacher surabhi thank you bye bye